Some are crying at the gate. Some are confused at the gate. Confused because you know that there are some things that belong to you. There's nothing worse than seeing someone driving your dream car. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm jealous, but <laughs> just Someone living in your dream house. And it's like they built the house. That it's, it's like they came and asked you how to build the house. But every prophecy to get in, there has to be a gate. So you can have a prophecy but be closed outside of the gate of the prophecy. And I sense in my spirit that kune wakawanda wakavarid wakuti closed outside. Closed outside. Mm -mm. Not anymore. Wangu wa kuwa nasei matransaction. Why uu chufaru wa kunzi? It could mean the gates are... Have you ever heard people talk of money that you don't think it marie in the issue? Listen, at the gates of destiny, be careful to prophesy against the breakthrough because it is delayed. Keep speaking positive at the gates of destiny. Say, I will speak right at the gates of destiny. Second Samuel 23, reading from verse 14, the Bible says, David was then in the stronghold and the garrison of the Philistines. In other words, the, this was the Philistines' territory. Okay? That was in Bethlehem. Bethlehem? Philistines? In Bethlehem? Philistines in Bethlehem? Why are the Philistines in your Bethlehem? It was the stronghold of the Philistines. So these battles that David had to fight is because he was trying to take territories for God. But there's a lesson to learn just from this verse here. Give me the next verse. It says, And David said with longing, longing, Oh, that someone would give me a drink of water from the wells of Bethlehem. What you are desiring is in Bethlehem. But, but, but there are powers of the enemy that are sitting on your Bethlehem. There are powers, watch this, that are sitting on your promise from God. That I may drink water from the wells of Bethlehem. Look at, look, look, look at where the wells are. Which are by the gates. <laughs> they are by the gates. So, so you can be thirsty at the gate. You can be hungry at the gate. You can have longings at the gate. Can I talk to someone who has longings, who has desires? Who, you, you, you have, you have, uh, David was visualizing water. And the water was right by the gate. I'm here to tell you, you are not far from your breakthrough. I said it's by the gates. Ziripa gate, ziripa gate, ziripa gate. Uh, just because it's not in your hand doesn't mean it's not yours. Uh, the breakthrough is by the gate. Uh, your house is by the gate. Uh, I said your car is by the gate. Your SUV is by the gate. Your Mercedes is by the gate. Uh, yeah, damn, your double cab is by the gate. Uh, Ida, your Prado is by the gate. It's right by the gate. Uh, so that's why you keep seeing it in a vision and in a dream. Because it's by the gate. Can I talk to someone who's frustrated at the gate? Which is by the gate. 
if you don't hear what I'm telling you, you can die by the gates. I refuse to die. Uh, when when, when, when my, my breakthrough is, is within reach, uh, uh, you pass the wilderness. Now you've got into the gate, and that's, at the gate is where you see the giants. The giants are right by the gate. The sons of Anak sitting on your wells, sitting on your money, sitting on your resources. Can I talk to somebody? You feel like the, the, there are some evil powers uh, that are just sitting, uh, sitting by your breakthrough. Uh, every time you want to secure some land, uh, uh, something just happens. There's a complication somewhere when you want to build. Uh, uh, something just happens to disturb. Uh, the breakthrough is by the gate. It's not far. It's not far. Uh, go back to Samuel. Say it's by the gate. Talk to me. Say it's by the gate. I'm, I'm going to use this scripture to extrapolate some truths from this scripture as, as to usher you in into the gate. Uh, it's by the gate. Say it's by the gate. Give me the next verse. And the Bible says, So the three mighty men broke through. Three mighty men. Not three whiners. Not three complainers. Not three lamenters. If you're going to break through, you're going to need to stop lamenting. Or you're going to need to stop complaining. You're going to need to stop being frustrated. You're going to need to stop all those proverbs. I said you are by the gate. And for you to break through the gate, you need to be a mighty man. Mighty in prayer, mighty in fasting, mighty in giving, mighty in the word, mighty in worship, mighty in soul winning, mighty, 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 mighty in serving God. It's mighty men who break through the camp of the Philistines. You don't say to the Philistines, but the Lord showed me in a dream. No. You break through. And they drew water from the well of Bethlehem. Today, I declare and I decree. I wish you'd receive this prophecy. I'm sending three mighty angels. Watch this. To go and just, just, just scoop what's in the promised land. Uh, you're, you're not yet in the promised land, but, but this week, all oh, taste and see. Uh, David was, uh, had not yet taken over the, 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 the promised land there, but, but uh, <laughs> I'm just not a tester. Couldn't I just test like a life this week? <laughs> because sometimes maybe, you know, your longings have died because you don't, you don't understand. I tell people, Motors no nakids. Range rover no nakids. Range rover no nakids or driver. I say S class no nak. I got to see a name, Chana. I got to see a name, nakids or no nak. I got to see a name. Can I drive a S? Drive a S. Talking to a S. But 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 David was. They allowed him to taste. How I wish God would allow you to taste. Could you taste your opinion? Good to know what about a Maris Naka Rufana Guenda? Because every time Barubata Mari Rupura, Saka Oskunaki or Nemari, you are just like a paying master, someone who's just paying. You go for Bochi and this. I know. But now to who bought a brick at ten thousand. What is she a cheese now, Padarwa? I want to this as a drug abader. Try to say in a Maria and that would test a cow pen. You can go a cow pen. You can go to no phone. I want you to graduate from square to a life who pen you a petly him. Well, good is so to good discuss a development to good discuss a call to good discuss a kunema kunema cluster houses. Ako of which can have not the happy acho. I prophesy this as the prophet of prosperity. I declare and I decree. Uh, this week, which are test. Which are test. Which are test. Which are test. 
I know your father died without tasting. Uh, 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 oh, taste and see. Find the scripture. And the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Taste and see. Sometimes there are dimensions and levels in the anointing where God has taken me. He has taken me to that realm. It's not even my real realm, but it's to taste. And then I go back to default settings. And then I begin to press into God because on that test, until I could see this week, something that you've been longing for, you've been longing for it. God will allow you to taste and see. The Lord is good. Oh, Testa. Oh, Testa. Kaupenyi gavu shaya shaya garu pera. It just proved that you are outside the gate. Ah, and by the way, I opened the money gate. Uh, the fish gate is the money gate. Uh, you find it near my chapter number three here. It is the fish gate. I opened the fish gate unto you. Peter needed to pay some bills. Uh, so you needed to go and fish a fish. And inside the fish there was coins. And he paid the bills. I decree the money gate is opening to you. God said in Isaiah 45, I will go before you uh, and I will break the money gates. I'll break the bars of iron and thunder. Uh, I'll break them into pieces. Uh, and I will give you what's inside. Uh, the hidden riches, the treasures of darkness. The money gate is opening. Uh, he says, I'll give you riches. I'll give you riches. I'll give you riches. One of my daughters in the faith this week sent me a picture. And I said, thank God for KPM Grace. Picture of a bread. I think it was the new Fortuna. Brand new. And when I came to KPM, I was driving a tired Japanese car. I remember when I looked at that car, I said, this is not your level. She was angry at me. I prophesied, I said, this car, I don't want to see it. In fact, bring it to the altar. She brought it. Anyway, your spiritual father is radical like that. <laughs> you are still driving your car because I have not called for it yet. Imagine. There are some levels you just need to put on the altar. I say, this is not my level. Could drive a motor out of Aina Guchu. Aina Chok explain her. Don't worry. Don't say no eater. I don't know who will receive, but I prophesy this week. Ucha test a cow pay you some plastic. That is this week. Cow pay you go. <laughs> Even if your father never bought a bicycle, your story is different. Do you know why it was like that for him? Because Say the breakthrough is right. By the gates. Isaiah 42, 22. I hope you are being blessed. It says, but this is a people robbed, plundered. All of them are snared in holes. They are hidden in prison houses. They are for prey and no one delivers. For plunder and no one says restore. It's a picture of many churches where there's no one to deliver. I Listen, I can't preach 10 steps to this when you're bound. Uh -uh, we need you free first. Jema steps to say it is. Man of God, I think you need to open business class and just start teaching us those principles again. Old, old, old. Degree can I hold you? Not room. Jerome, that's enough. 
Can you see why you are educated but struggling? Because you are you 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 you, you are educated but urum So when we speak and we say your liberty, I'm speaking as the man I shy confessing. I to be set free. Be set free. I command your freedom. Listen, you will rewrite the history of your family. By this series on gates, you will rewrite the history of your family. I'm telling you, you'll be a reference point in your family. You'll be a barrier breaker in your family. You'll be a pace setter in your family. You'll be a trend setter in your family. Listen, the gates of influence need to be opened. There are three things you must fight seriously in your life. Number one is sickness and disease. Fight it. Number two is being so small you're not influential. Fight it. And number three, fight the spirit of poverty. Nothing good can come out of poverty. Nothing good. Don't let anyone convince you to stay poor. They'll tell you, ah, I'm not a pride. Pane pride in the same as him last You know, Shamis, until Jesus comes, I'll be shocked with that one. Okay, I got nothing. But you're proud. Are you listening to me? Fight sickness and disease. Any kind of oppression in your body. Fight it. Don't explain it. Fight it. Fight it. Fight smallness. No influence. No one can listen to you. This thing of being poor pastors. Me, I told God, I, when you see him, ask him. I told him, man, as you. Otherwise, keep your calling. Because I saw pastors with long neck. Long, long, long neck. Long neck. No money. Frustrated trousers. Tired shoes. We don't know whether the shirt is blue or gray. Lining. Li lining. Yes, I refuse that kind of calling. The, 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 the saints. I don't know. 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 I do I I uh, uh, we want to give apostle of these three suits. Which one do you think we should give him? Oh, no, 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 Bay, keep the blue one. It's too, it's too nice. Give him maybe, maybe you know, maybe the red one. Oh, I don't really like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think red will look good on him. After they've had a, this, a, a board meeting in their house to discuss tired suits. Then they hand over to me to continue the ministry of the Lord. Nonsense! The voice of a poor pastor is not heard. Do you know, even if a poor pastor is going to powerful sermon, no one will listen. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. You can come up with all sorts of revelation, but if it's not working for you, fight poverty. Fight it. Don't be angry at me. I'm not the one who created it. Fight poverty. And stop telling yourself it's okay. It's not okay. Oh, I might come under attack, but it's not okay. Ukira Gombe. It's not okay when I South Africa a bus. By the time you get to Bay Bridge, you are now sending me a message. Man of God, pray for my back. 
is a link here. Link you fast to Johannesburg. The fast jet. Do you know why you are getting angry? I'll say anyway. Where what show? Lord about the gate. Thank God for destiny help us. But but also Ramba ka open you rambo chibat sirwa. You need to graduate from destiny helpers to being the destiny helper. Is that not a better realm? Wait, wait now you're no longer praying about Lord send me helpers and uh, and you're saying Lord send me to help who should I help? Kalifka David. Is there anyone left? <laughs> It means the person is the person but still is there anyone left in the house of Saul that I may just show them kindness? A distributor of good. I speak that over your life. The grace for your life to change. What are gates? These are places of access in the realm of the spirit. Say access. Say access. If you are denied access at the gate, it doesn't matter what you're promised inside, you can't get it. So you need to be granted access from the realm of the spirit. These are places where the economy is controlled. Where big transactions are made. Big decisions are made. Governmental transactions are decided at the financial gates of the nation. You graduate from my 20,000 to my 2 million. You need to receive what I'm telling you. You will graduate. You will graduate. Tenders are one at the gate of destiny. The gates of financial destiny are the places where there's money exchange is done. You know, Tenders are shared before the tender. No, no, sir, I'm not some documents, but yeah, we know that. Hello. So you need the grace to be there when the deals are being negotiated. Watch this. Not in the natural, not Kuma Sports Club, not Kugov. In the spirit, they are negotiated in the spirit first. If you are there when the negotiations are done in the spirit, you win. Hallelujah. But watch this. There is what is called the dream gate. Say the dream gate. Now, you know that there is what is called the dream world. Hmm? If it is a world, it's a realm. If it is a realm, to get into it, you get in via a gate. Am I right? Right. So, your life can be affected negatively or positively through your dream world. Hello? Okay, watch this. So, the enemy knowing this, he plants tears. Matthew 13. In your dreams, while you sleep. He says, but while men slept, his enemy came. Matthew 13 verse 25. The enemy came while they slept and sowed tears among the wheat. It doesn't mean that the enemy came into your physical garden and started planting tears. No. This is while you are sleeping. That's the dream world. His enemy. So, your enemy if you do not know how to control the gates to your dreams, can come in to your dream world, plant what he wants, and go about his business. So, those bad dreams are showing you that your enemy, number one, has access to your dream world and is planting evil. So that's why someone can say, I dreamt of an accident, and then they have the accident later. 
Because it needs to be planted first before it is harvested in the natural. It needs to be planted in the spirit dream world before it happens in the natural. Kona Fort and Samora. Are you getting this? So the dream world is in the realm of the spirit. So throughout the Bible, we see a lot of dreams that then came to pass. Hello? Okay. Now, maybe most dominant is Joseph dreamt of himself. Positive dream. Right? The sun and the moon, his father and his mother. And the 11 stars bowing before him, his brothers. Did the dream come to pass? It came to pass. Right? So, you can dream a positive dream and it comes to pass. You can dream a negative dream and it comes to pass. Pharaoh dreamt a dream. Right? I'm paraphrasing here. Where the lean cows ate the fat cows. He needed Joseph to interpret that dream to him. Seven lean years after the seven fat years. Did you? Okay? Did the drought happen? It happened. But it was shown to Pharaoh in the form of a what? Of a dream. Now, Pharaoh dreamt this twice. When a dream is dreamt twice, it is called spiritual establishment. You dream of something, someone else dreams of it, or you dream of it again. It can be established that way. So that's why people say, I'm always dreaming of myself in the rural areas. So it has been established many times that you've been locked in the village of your parents. Are you learning? Are you learning? So, a positive dream can come to pass. A negative dream can come to pass. But watch this. You are not helpless concerning your dreams. Now, watch, I'm, I'm not saying don't believe in your dreams. But I'm saying don't be controlled by them. Why? You should take control of your dream world. So that your life is not controlled by dreams. Oh, this is powerful. I hope, I, hope, I hope you're getting it. So witches bewitch you by accessing your dream life. So you need to fortify your dream life. You need to pray about your dream life. There are people whose dream life is a war zone. Just to put your head on your pillow, the war starts. Men of God, please help me. I keep dreaming of fights. Why does the enemy have such access to your dream world that he can come and fight you anytime? You dream of yourself eating Nando's? It's not a good dream. Even if you miss Nando's. There are people who eat in dreams, they wake up sick. Hello? Or after a while, they go to the doctor, the doctor says you've got cancer in your intestines. Where did the cancer come from? It came from that meal. Now, you can't, you, that meal in the dream, you, people then can't connect the two. While men slept, an enemy came, satanic caterers, and they fed them. Men of God, I dreamt a snake around my waist. What does it mean? What do you think it means? It means they have so much access, they can come and put a snake as a belt around you. That's how spiritually powerless you are. Me, if I have a bad dream, I'm shocked. About me. I might have one about you. <laughs> but I have so fought this. I'm, I'm teaching you what I've done. I used to have bad dreams every single night until I caught what I'm teaching you. But I want to teach it from the realm of gates because for someone to get into your dream world, they have to pass through that gate. So, they, so, so are the gates to your dreams open? 
if they are open, your life can be manipulated, shifted, destroyed even by the enemy through dreams. And then you, the, you and then there are people who say this as a statement of pride. He, 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 foolish man. Because you don't know what to do. You must know what to do. You must know what to do. No, you've just been cancelling dreams, but they keep coming back because you have not fortified the gate. Position angels at the gates of your dreams. So that what you dream has been made for you to dream by heaven. I'm not saying after that you don't have bad dreams. No. You can, if you, and to have a bad dream, it is a divine warning. There's a difference between a warning and an attack. So the enemy will not longer be able to attack you in your dreams. But God can warn you in your dreams that this is what the enemy is planning. Are you, are you getting it? So you need to pray and say, Lord, may you be involved in every one of my dreams. I want you to pick a day this week where you're going to fast about your dream world and you're going to clear your dream life. Right? Clear it. And say from henceforth, any dream I have will be of God. If it is a bad dream, it is a divine warning. Mary and Joseph, the Lord visited them in a dream. And warned them to run away with Jesus. It was a bad dream, obviously. But it was a divine warning. Are you getting it? Say, Lord, help me with my dreams. <clears throat> Look at this. Psalm 13, verse 3 and 4. David says, consider and hear me, O Lord. Is he praying? Is he praying? O Lord means he's praying. Enlighten my eyes, say Revelation, lest I sleep the sleep of death. So there can be a sleep of death. You see that? That means that why, is this, why, did, not, why did you not say lest I die? Why, why lest I sleep the sleep of death? In the dream, death can be planted in a dream. So there can be the sleep of death, sleep of poverty, sleep of divorce, sleep of failure, sleep of non-accomplishment. Are, are you getting it? The things that you are going through, there is a sleep of that thing. So the Lord must open your eyes spiritually, enlighten you, so you know what to do when evil dreams come. Right? The blood of Jesus is very powerful and very important in the dream world. You need to learn to saturate your life, your dream world, with the blood of Jesus. Right? So you clear your dream spiritually. And then you infuse the blood of Jesus in your dream world. It's a world you can speak to. You can project things into that dream. Are you getting it? Say, I will secure my dream world. Say, today, I secure the gates to my dream world. Any satanic activity happening at the gates of my dream world, I declare and I decree. I shut them down. In the name of Jesus, I position angels at the gates of my dreams. No satanic manipulation will happen in my dreams. Okay, now watch this. Can I go deeper? If you do not secure your dream world, it means that it's like a city without a wall. <laughs> a city without a wall. Or it is like in Okumarain. You've never lived Kumarain. Have you lived Kumarain? <laughs> Ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, have you lived Kumarain? <laughs> why would you Kumarain? <laughs> Let me tell you why would you Kumarain. Because Kumarain must send right. What? 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 send right. <laughs> it's a road <laughs> that is made by neighbors. 
It just passes by your house. They pass by it so often that lawn refuses to grow there. It's my shortcut. Send rhymes. Ah, you have understood it now. So it means the enemy now has such access to your dream world that I don't know, create a send rhyme. Now, Kumarain, I'm talking about regional Marain. That means thieves have access anytime. If there's no juro, it means there's no gate. This is, that is like the dream world of many people under the sound of my voice. That's why you need to listen. Watch this. Where there's no Jura wall, I'm, I'm, I'm interchanging between spirit and natural. I'm using the things you understand to explain the things you don't understand. That's how Jesus taught parables. So, where there's no Jura wall or where there's no gate, cats can pass by, lizards, wizards, willard, we do. <laughs> Anyone can pass through at any. Is that your dream world? That if someone just decides to be with you, it just takes a decision. If you don't have a gate or a wall, hello, visitors come and knock straight at your door. You don't have intercom to say, Jan. And if the windows are open, he say, "I'm going to take a Fry. Ask your neighbor. Say, neighbor, how accessible is your dream world? Can you be poisoned in your dream? Can you be made sick in your dream? Can you be fought in your dream? attacked in your dream. It's all because Christians are ignorant of their dream world. I hope I'm, I'm sharing a mystery here. You dream of yourself having an accident. That's not a good dream. There are people who say, I dreamt of myself dead. That means I'm going to live a long time. Spiritual nonsense. Sometimes you can go on Google and Google that and Google will tell you that interpretation is wrong. Are you getting it? So, if God is involved in your dreams, he's sharing with you what you need to focus on spiritually or attend to. It needs attention in the spirit. A dream is not reality. So that removes the notion of the Rodone girlfriend. Nayo, the garota chete nini chokwani. Let me tell you the problem with that. The problem with that is if you there are people who think that their dreams, watch this, are law. There is no dream that is irreversible, good or bad. Every dream can be reversed. Every dream is scripturally reversible. So, if you believe, oh, thank you Lord for reminding me, if you believe that everything your dream is true and the enemy knows you believe that, you can dream of a wizard with my face. That is your, the end of your church membership at KPM. Because there are people who dream so much that the enemy is excited. Anytime he wants to do anything, he can do it through your dream. He can confuse you in a dream. He can turn 
friends to enemies in a dream and enemies to friends in a dream. Not every manifestation is from God. Not every dream is from God. There are people who are now controlled by manifestations. And Lucifer knows. So he will tell you what to manifest. Don't forget that the devil is a liar. And he can use what you believe. <laughs> the danger, the, see, there's a side effect to, to these spiritual prayers. A massive side effect. What is the side effect? We pray so much, Farai, that we now are spiritually sensitive and our spiritual senses are so open. And we are now so spiritually sensitive to the extent that the devil can use the same spiritual senses to put his things there. I dreamt the man of God was fighting me. Man of God fighting. <laughs> Number one, you are not my level for me to fight you. If I fight you, you can't fight. You, you'll be dead. Are you seeing this? So that's why, you see, there are people who have got prophetic giftings. You know, and some of those now, they end up as intercessors who want to control the church. Ah, the pastor, he doesn't listen to my dreams anymore. Chapter 1, verse 1, that I need to sit, I, I need you to sit me down to, to tell me the direction of the church through dreams. Do you know that there are churches that are controlled by young children who control the way the church moves? I am in the middle of teaching you clowns. Your maids, if you allow, I can control you through dreams. Daona, Daona. Nyarara, in Daona, da kutiga basi. If you're not careful, no no shut rock boys guy. Let me come and garden boy. Are you here? Are you here? Look at your neighbor. Hey, hey, no, 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 man with the Ramari. Muyawaita Asha. Nancy Madame Uber Shoma. So the spirit world mishandled can manipulate you. Every dream you have is subject to scripture. Every. It, the, uh, I see, I hear, I heard, I felt is subject to it is written. Never forget that. Jesse Charotwa Nehama can pass through it is written. Where you, if it is a good dream, it can be enforced through it is written. If it is a bad dream, it can be pulled down through it is written. So don't let any wizard scare you with a dream. Especially an amai. Mo Africa muno. An amai akanda jina ugeen na ninyeit. Controlling children by dreams. Dagrotera. Uyakuno. Dino obeza narota uyakuno. Was it my dream? It was your dream? Keep on dreaming. Do you see how people are manipulated by spiritual people? Don't let any intercessor manipulate you. Every prophecy in this church, fill out a rotten apple to open. Bring it to me. Don't go to my daughter. Leave her alone. And you have your toilet boardroom prayer meetings where you, you say you're going to the mirror. Yeah, 
college. I'm, I'm glad I found you. Actually, I think it's the Holy Spirit who made sure we had this meeting. I dreamt a black thing coming out of your ear. What do you think it means? <laughs> I think it means going to tell my father. There are people who are told, it used to happen a lot in this church and when I stopped it, a group of people left. With their dreams, they left. When God didn't, when God called me, he didn't tell me that he will give you as Aaron, the prophet, in my life. And Aaron was not manifest after I just had to grow up to manifest out. I said, go down and get help. Yeah, before you prophesy, for me, not manifest. And if you keep manifesting, again, you must get angry at that. Okay, let me give you a scripture that will set you free. Ah, I'm helping someone. There's a scripture where Jesus said, ah, he's the one of, 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 of leading the men out of the city. When he delivered that man from blindness, he told that spirit to get out, watch this, and come in no more. That's the scripture. Thank you. Get out and come no more. You, you need to believe that after your deliverance is done, that is get out. Hello? Hello? But it is your job to make sure it comes in no more. Say come in no more. Say come in no more. So you can you can you can fortify your dream world, your spiritual world, until these powers can no longer come in. Say they will no longer come in. Say they will no longer come in. Say they will no longer come in. You need to learn to pray to the level that whatever you are afflicted by or affected by, once it is dealt with, it must come back no more. This thing of now, we now know you could hear only voice it in the theater. We need to, that needs to stop. Mark 9, thank you. Mark 9, 25. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you to come out of him and enter no more. See that scripture? Say enter no more. So what, what, what demonic power do you keep recycling? It, you see, you, you didn't know that verse. You can put it into play. You can't live with the manifestation. At some point, it must come to an end. And there must be no more manifestation. And then when something comes, it must be new. We must be shocked to do a manifester. Not good. I know when I hit a certain frequency of tongues, the usual suspects. Aye, one minute. Nix. Aye, You've proved to guru you. You've proved. Now let's prove to no go guru you no ra. Say no more. Say no more. Then you take my scriptures and affliction shall not arise a second time. These enemies that you see today, you shall see them no more. Never again shall this bitter water, shall this water be bitter. This one. So you find scriptures like that to stop repeated spiritual problems. But that's work. Are we together? Zechariah 2 verse 5. I want you to put a hedge of fire round about your dream world. Hedge of what? Fire round about your dream world. How can an evil farmer plant where there's fire? So sicknesses will no longer be planted. Problems will no longer be planted. Why? We are putting a what? Say hedge of fire. Say hedge of fire. Say father. 
increase hedge of fire round about me. Lord, I pray, fortify my dream world where the enemy has been taking advantage of me spiritually because of ignorance. Father, I thank you for teaching me what you have taught me today. You have empowered me with this knowledge. I realize I can take the blood of Jesus and smear it all over my dream world that any attack by the enemy is thwarted by the blood of Jesus. I realize, Lord, that by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I can in fire my dream world. No more attacks by witches and wizards. No more evil projections because as the enemy projects, those things are destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I thank you, Lord, that I can commission angels in battle array to stand at the door of my dream world. No more will the enemy access my dream world and affect me, afflict me, destroy my business, cause accidents, cause sicknesses, inject me in dreams, put fibroids, put cancer, put HIV, whatever they want. From today, I say no more. Holy Ghost, I thank you for this teaching and this revelation. With diligence, I will rise up and I will declare over my dream world, no more affliction, no more plans of the enemy, no more will the enemy have free access to my dream world in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, even right now, I know there are things, Hosea 914, there are things the enemy planted in my dreams. There are things, satanic pregnancies, in satanic incubators that had been put in my dreams. But today, I speak Hosea 9, Verse 14, give them, O oh Lord, what will you give them? A miscarrying womb and a dry breast. Every sickness that is in satanic incubators, I declare and I decree a miscarriage. That accident planted by the enemy, you are going to miscarry. That problem planted by the enemy in the dream world, you will miscarry. Even those that have been birthed and they are starting problems, I command a dry breast. I dry up the source where they are feeding from. No more will problems grow in my life because Lord, by your power and by your grace, you are rubbing out any plans of the enemy. You are changing my story by changing my dream world. Jehovah God, let it be that whatever I dream, that is a bad dream, is a prophetic warning from you. Help me, Lord. Cleanse my spirit world, my dream world. I declare and I decree the enemy will no longer be able to carry out his plans in my dreams in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I speak victory at the gates. I declare and I decree victory at the gates. I prophesy victory at the gates. I declare victory at the gates. You are winning at the gates. I command you to be a winner at the gates. I said you are a winner at the gates. I declare you are a winner at the gate. I prophesy you are a winner at the gate. Day and night your gates must open. Opportunities will come to you day and night. I prophesy over your life. The gates of brass, they are broken asunder. We break the gates. I need an amen from somebody. I said we break the gates of brass. As you sacrifice this month and next month, I declare and I decree. According to Genesis 22, your children shall possess the gates of of your enemies by your seed your children shall win by your sacrifice your children shall win your children is not just your biological children or uh, even spiritual children they have to win your children could be your brainchild your business that is your child i said your business shall win i professor you are becoming a winner my children will speak at the gates Second Samuel 15 verse 2, Absalom plotted uh, at the gate against his father. Every evil plot at the gate. We nullify it. We nullify it. We nullify it. I said, We nullify it. I speak angelic activities at your gates. 
Uh, it is at the gates that the celestial means the celestial. Hallelujah. That's why Abraham, he met God at the gate in Genesis 18. May your God meet you at the gate. I said, may your God meet you at the gate. Yeah, may your God meet you at the gate. That's Genesis, uh, Genesis 18 verse 1. Say, at the gate. Say, at the gate. Like Mordecai, you will be promoted. I said you will be promoted. And even after he was promoted, the Bible tells us in Esther chapter number 6 that he went back to the gate. May you remain in that strategic position at the gate. Wherever you need to be positioned strategically, may you be positioned at the gate. Say, I shall be victorious. Say, I shall win at the gate. Say, wherever I've been losing at the gate, every almost breakthrough at the gate, Father God, turn it into certain victory. May I win at the gate. May I have favor at the gate. Say, I cry out, oh Lord, grant me favor at the gates of destiny. I prophesy supernatural favor. At the gate, I shall win. At the gate, I shall be victorious. At the gate, say I receive supernatural victory. At the gate, stretch your hands. I speak Joshua chapter number one, verse number five. No man, no gate man will stand before you. Ah, from today, I said you will get in. No one can block you. No one can frustrate you. No one can hinder you. You will no longer be blocked at the gate. He said, the great and effectual door has opened unto me. First Corinthians 16 verse 9. But there are many adversaries. Where are they? They are at the gate. I speak concerning your life. Every adversary at the gate will disempower them. I said, every witch... That is hindering you. He said, I, even I, Paul, wanted to come to you time and again. But Satan hindered us. I decree you will no longer be hindered. I speak over your destiny. No more tears at the gate. No more crying at the gate. No more weeping at the gate. Every frustration at the gate of destiny. No more frustration. I said, no more frustration. I speak, no more frustration. I decree men will come looking for you at the gates. Uh, and they'll say that one, allow him in. I said you'll be allowed to come in. I said you'll be allowed to come in. I speak to the gates of this economy. Raise your hands. And I decree parts of this economy where you're not allowed to enter, you are entering. Transactions where you're not permitted, you are permitted. I speak supernatural permission over you. I say access granted. I give you permission in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. I said I give you permission. As your man of God, I give you permission. I, I, I release mighty friends around you. Like the mighty men of David who help you to break through. I decree people who help you to break through at the gates. They shall be your friends. Hallelujah. I said may God give you friends that will help you to break through. Say I'm breaking through. Say it again. Say I'm breaking through. I speak Psalm 24 verse 7 to 10. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. I speak to the doors of the economy, and I command them to lift up their gates so that you can come in, so Zawanda can come in, so Majuni can come in, so Albert can come in. I speak in, so no Tando can come in. I speak to the gates. They are lifting up the gates that were closed. Every boom that was is opening for you. I decree it's opening for you. No more will you be closed out. I said you gates be lifted. Money gates be lifted. Fish gate be lifted. The Bible in the book of Nehemiah chapter number 3 talks about the dung gate. The dung gate where all the nonsense is. I exempt you from the dung gate. Ah, yeah, yeah. Listen, people will no longer just dump things at you, dump things on you. That is what is done at the dung gate. Hallelujah. Where you dream of yourself, your whole body is got feces. Human excreta. That is the dung gate. I will shut that 
gate. I said we shut the dung gate. Hallelujah. No more nonsense in your life. Any nonsense that the enemy had been releasing through the dung gates to contaminate you. I say no more. In fact, we open the water gate to wash you clean. We open the water gate to wash you clean. We open the fish gate for money. I prophesy as a man of God. I declare and I decree over your life the money gate. I speak it over your life. What you have never handled, you will handle. You will handle. You will handle. Your bank balance will look like a serial number. The limitation over your bank account, I remove it. I said the lines have fallen in pleasant places. I speak over your life. I declare and I decree. You will build and finish within a year. By this time next year, you will have finished a building project. You will build and finish in one year. I prophesy. I summon the resources. I said you will build and you will finish this year. Hallelujah. The Bible says Isaac sowed in that land and he prospered in the same year in the same 12 months I prophesied over your life there are people who build malls in this church hospitals in this church schools in this church you will build when I say building don't just think of four rooms I say begin to think of financial institutions begin to think of commercial buildings I prophesy you will build and I speak to the gates that are speaking and saying no I command those gates to to shut. I command the mouth of the gate to shut. Every evil eye at the gates of destiny that is monitoring your movements as you are coming to the gate. We pierce that eye. I said we pierce that eye. That one, that one, that one. We pierce that eye. I said we pierce that eye. Say Lord pierce the eye. Every monitoring eye that monitors me at the gate. I pierce the eye. Say the gate to my father's house I shut it behind me I'm coming out of my father's house I shut the gate behind me and I declare and I decree the gates to the city the iron gates the gate to the economy open for me open for me you economic gate open for me I'm tired of operating outside the economy you gates of the economy open for me Oh ye gates, open for me in the name of Jesus. I go to Psalm 118, verse 19. I open the gates of the righteous. I'm a righteous man through Christ. I declare and I decree. The gates are open unto me. They are opening to you. What they told you will never happen. Uh, it's because they had closed the gate. But when the gates are open, anything is possible. <laughs> I said the gates are open. So anything is possible. I decree your enemies will be surprised. Uh, because whoever tries to shut the gate that God has opened, we command greater. Risina ma break. Tirukuru visa ma break. For this operation, you operate like caterpillar without break. Alida ba golaba haya. Ayande gele nanda ma yodaba. Aya la te ba katama haya. Ayande gele te ba golaba haya. According to Judges chapter number five, stretch your hands. Verse number eight. There is war at the gate. We are going to war at the gates. Say, Father, we command a war at the gate. Warring angels fight at the gate. Fight my enemies at the gate and fight the enemy. Fight the gatekeeper. Fight the chain. Fight the padlock. Fight the gate. As I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I come like a caterpillar without break. That gate will open today. Open your mouth. 
mouth right now. Pray at the top of your voice. Handi bakola tema haya. Ayinda makola ndanda mashalia. Handa rabase shalia nda. Sumari anda la bakata makaria. Handi riri anda la bakaria nda haya. Handa maki ando la maya. I don't know about others, but I'm about to get in. Handa maki anda la maya. I open the gates from the realm of the spirit. You gates be open. Ira riando handa makana ndia. Ari anda la bakari anda la maya. Ari darari ande le le le. Ya 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 ari ando la bakata. Haya de kalama haya. Haya tama haya. Some of you. Dubai is opening, Qatar is opening, Israel is opening, South Africa opened the gate, Botswana opened the gate, Tanzania TZ open ye the gate in the name of Jesus. Some of you business wise, Europe is opening the gate in the name of Jesus. I speak under the anointing, every gatekeeper keeping you out, hear the word of the Lord. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that KPM children might come in at prayer shift, might come in. Lift up your head, O ye gates. I open the gates of marriage. I open them in the name of Jesus. I open gates of business doors to the education sector I open them you want to study abroad I open the gates there are people who are getting from four ones when they go for it up getting but this October and November I open the gate this time around Uno pass away the gate is open the gates of influence we open them from the realm of the spirit whether you are in the auditorium, live on Facebook, live or delayed, full sermon or clip, we open the gate, we open the gate, no wizard can shut, no witch can shut, we open the gate, in the name of Jesus, gates of hell, you will not prevail, I prophesy over your life, Enter ye the gates of greatness. Shout yes. Shout yes. Finally, Ezekiel 46, verse number 12. You are going to enter. Your life will not always be about your history. <clears throat> Don't define your life by your history. Your history is there to teach you what you should change. So you enter your destiny. You will not repeat the failures of your father. I will share transport. They get transport. I will share man. Never will it be said of you. Your glory would never be referred to in past tense. I said your glory would never be referred to in past tense. The path of the just shines more and more until the perfect day. You are the just. And every gate in your path is being opened. Ezekiel 46. And I'll close. Watch this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, when the prince 
makes a volunteer the burnt offering. Say I'm a prince. Say I'm a prince. So look at this, Julie. Despite who you are in Christ, prince, you still have to give. Did you get that? Made a what offering? A voluntary offering. Voluntary peace offering to the Lord. When he made that offering, the gate that faces the east shall be opened for him. You see that? You see that? Why do we tell you to give in this ministry? We tell you to give continuously because there are gates that are in front of you continuously. So every seed, now listen, a seed will only produce according to revelation you have. So understand that when you are giving, there are gates that are opening for you in the realm of the spirit. This is why in Malachi he said, if you give, I will open the windows of heaven. He's right there wanting to open the windows of heaven, but he's waiting for your tithe, your offering, your seeding. Do you understand that? So the prince was standing at the gate, but he had to give to his offering voluntarily. So your attitude towards your seed also determines whether the gate is open or not. So you can give involuntarily and the gate still remains shut because of your attitude. So this is a seed that you have to make up your mind that I am volunteering to give this offering from the platform of opening the gates. So the Bible says that, it says, it shall be opened for him and he shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offering as he did on the Sabbath day. Then he shall go out of his father's house after he goes out, the gate will be shut to his brothers and sisters who refuse to give. Are you here? Sometimes there are spiritual strongholds that are so strong that you are not able to fight them on your own. But there's a way out. You can give your way out of your father's house. We have not closed the stronghold of your father's house. There are still others who are still there. Are you, are, you, are you understanding? But you are what I say? You are out. When they that are stuck now ask, how did you come out? You say, Ezekiel 46, verse number 12. I gave my way out of where you are stuck. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Now, Cornelius, Cornelius, your giving combined with your prayer have come up as a memorial. There are people who want to pray and pray and pray and pray until they ignore giving. No, you need to combine the two. Are you getting it? So now that you understand it now, you then understand Deuteronomy 33 verse 19. Put it up there. How many want to partake of big transactions? Yes, you've got to see it with understanding. He says, they shall call the peoples on the mountain precious. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. For, for means, it's telling us the reason. For they shall partake of the abundance of the seas. So you can be there on the mountain and not partake. You can be in prayer shift and not partake. So the partaking requires seeding. Hallelujah. Abundance of the seas hidden in the sand. So there are transactions that are hidden in the economy. Which are only prophetically opened up to give us. Negative or positive. Kuna nensa ma mombe kuninganga ma sacrifice. Manuwa na matendo. They are just stepping into this. They are offering sacrifices so that the economy opens up to them. Hallelujah. I must teach you the total gospel. Hallelujah. I must teach you the total gospel. So over and above your prayers, please make sure that you are a partaker by giving.